Hello Math Buddies! Today, we're going to learn about central and inscribed triangles. I am Jordans and welcome to Math TV. Okay, our targets for today, define and illustrate central and inscribed triangles, state and discuss central angle intercepted or postulate and inscribed angle intercepted or postulate. Plus, find the measures of central and inscribed angles. Let us first define central angle. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and whose sides are radii or contains a radius. Let us look at our circle, circle S. Angle MSD is a central angle because its vertex lies on the center of the circle and its sides, which is line segment MS and line segment DS are radii, while arc MD is the intercepted arc. An intercepted arc is part of the circumference of the circle. Let us move on to central angle intercepted arc postulate. The measure of a central angle of a circle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. It simply means that our angle, angle MSD, is equal to its intercepted arc, arc MD. So, remember that they are equal. Next, we have inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex lies on the circle and whose sides are chords of a circle. We have here circle P. Inside the circle is an inscribed angle. We have angle ABC. Its vertex lies on the circle. Then the sides, which is line segment BC and line segment PA are chords. While arc AC is the intercepted arc. Again, an intercepted arc is part of the circumference of the circle. Then, we have the inscribed angle intercepted arc postulate. The measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one-half the measure of its intercepted arc. Let us study the given figure and interpret it. We have the measure of angle ABC is equal to one-half of the measure of its intercepted arc, arc AC. So, this is our formula. Important notes. The degree measure of a circle is equal to 360 degrees. Look at the given figure, then give me the measures of angle DFM. Very good! It's 180 degrees because 360 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Now, let us have some examples. Example number 1. We have circle P. Given arc RS is equal to 70 degrees. So, we are looking for angle RPS and arc RPS. Angle RPS is a central angle. Its vertex lies on the center of the circle. Solution, the measure of angle RPS is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc, arc RS. Therefore, the measure of angle RPS is equal to 70 degrees. How about arc RPS? Okay. We are just going to subtract 70 degrees from 360 degrees. So, 360 degrees minus 70 degrees, it is equal to 290 degrees. We have another angle. The measure of angle QPT is equal to 34 degrees. We are looking for the measure of its intercepted arc, arc QB. Going back to the central angle intercepted arc postulate, we have the measure of angle QPV is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc, arc QB. So, we've got 34 degrees. Example number 2, we have circle T. Given arc AB is equal to 76 degrees, we are looking for angle AEB. Solution, from the inscribed angle intercepted arc postulate, we have 
the measure of angle AEB is equal to one half the measure of its intercepted arc. In our example, arc AB. The measure of angle AEB is equal to one half times 76 degrees. So the measure of angle AEB is equal to 38 degrees. What if we have another angle? Angle BCA. We're looking for the measure of angle BCA. The measure of angle BCA is equal to one half the measure of its intercepted arc, arc AB. So one half times 76 degrees, it is equal to 38 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle BCA is equal to 38 degrees. Example number 3. We have circle H. Given, angle IHJ is equal to 82 degrees. So, we're going to find the measures of the following. For number 1, we have arc IJ. This one is arc IJ. Take note that angle IHJ is equal to 82 degrees. This one is a central angle. So, angle IHJ is equal to its intercepted arc. Arc IJ now is equal to 82 degrees. For number 2, angle IKJ. Look at the intercepted arc. The value of arc IJ is equal to 82 degrees. The given angle is an inscribed angle. Look at the vertex. It slides on the circle. So, angle IKJ is equal to one half the measure of arc IJ. 82 degrees divided by 2, it is equal to 41 degrees. Therefore, angle IKJ is equal to 41 degrees. For number 3, we're looking for arc IJL. This one is a semicircle, so it is equal to 180 degrees. For number 4, what is the value of arc JKL? Note that arc JKL is part of arc IJL and that is equal to 180 degrees. Arc IJ is equal to 82 degrees. So we have 180 degrees minus 82 degrees, it is equal to 98 degrees. Therefore, arc JKL is equal to 98 degrees. For number 5, what is the measure of angle LHJ? Look at the given angle. It's central angle. So if the intercepted arc measures 98 degrees, that's arc JKL. The measure of angle LHJ is also equal to 98 degrees. I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day and God bless everyone.